Okay, hi guys. Alright, here I'm going to really not answer a question because it's not a question. More respond to a statement by show me what I need to know. And it's on the gender identification videos that I did. Which I basically read information off the internet. And um, the statement was, the thing about the gender identity movement is that it's false identity IMO. I don't know what IMO means. Somebody tell me what that means. I guess I could Google it, right? Our gender is not who we really are. It's just an aspect of a person like anything else. And I don't see how it's a big deal. I think people get caught up in this and offended by it are more in the 3D or 4D game. In 5D, no one is going to be attached to their identity or anyone else's. Okay, so... Um, it is important, and it's important for people who are attached to it. So if you're not attached to your gender, or if you're not confused by your um, sexuality, then disregard all of this and move on. This is for people who it is an information. It is, it is uh, important to them. And... So that is why I bring this up. Gender identification and the movement, so to speak, uh, was put into place and set into place to defractal what was done and what has been done for a long time. And the fractaline is what took us down to, to what is it called? Sexual identities. You're either a woman or a man and you're heterosexual and that's all that's acceptable and that is all that's okay that was done in the fractaline process to get down to 3d when you go down to 3d it becomes more and more black and white the contrast that's what you're trying to get rid of you're trying to get rid of in order to get to those deep densities you want to get rid of all the gray okay no such thing as gray there's, there's no gray areas. The deeper you go into the densities, what the point is, is to pull those two apart into black and white. They become very, very black or white. And you have to choose a side. And usually, in this process, all humans are, don't fit into one category or the other, ever, on any of them. But you choose one because well, over the years, there have been really dramatic measures taken to make sure that you do. Um, and that is to cause people to be unhappy. Just for, for want of a better word, it's one of the many ways to keep humans unhappy. Because if you're happy, you raise your vibration. If you raise your vibration, you go to a different place and you leave the game. This game is about lowering your vibration. So in order to do that, there has to be a lot of push and pull inside of the human, of the human beings. They have to be just, they're all, all humans, all of us are gray. All of us are gray. Nobody's black or white. There's no such thing. That was created. This black, there's only black and there's only white. That, that just doesn't exist. So this movement that is happening is a way to defractal what was fractal. In other words, these people coming out, at first it was really, in my lifetime, it was the gay people who really came out and really fought for no, there, it's not this or this. It is, it is uh, uh, the gay, we, we're gay, we like same sex, we, that's the way we were born, we've always known it, we've always believed it, we exist, and we are just as valid as you are. That homosexuality is just as valid as heterosexuality. Done. And then they open the gateway for everybody else that's coming through. So, thank you very much. For opening that gateway now if you will just step aside and let everybody else come through I would really appreciate it and so would they okay <laughs>
And I know a lot of you are. Don't get me wrong. It's not all gay people are not blocking the way for everybody else there. There's just a few of them. But come on. Let's open up the way. And the reason why this is important is so that people can see the gray areas. And they need to see the gray areas in something as important as masculine and feminine, male and female, and sexuality. Because sexuality needs to be destigmatized. Okay? Sex is sex. It is a pleasant experience that we all were born to have in whatever way you'd like to have it okay the only reason it was put given such stigma was it was a way to control people so that you can go <gasps> because everybody has sexual urges everybody does but it was a really good way for the monotheistic religions to take over your you by taking over sexuality and saying okay it will be a man and a woman it will be marriage only and that's the only way that you are going to be able to respond in any kind of sexual way and if you step outside of that arena then you are in trouble so look at the control that they've got over you look at all that control this opening the gateway to all of this this other way that you can sexually identify the point is that number one there's a lot more than you know that heterosexuality and then homosexuality and then all the rest of them was just the beginning there are many 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 more and you will be seeing many many more especially with the young people and they're not going to they're not going to hide they're not going to fit into a box they're going to tell you exactly who they are and I want you to be open to it number one because it's accurate and true okay as all of it is accurate and true number two is eventually what you will see and what hopefully you will learn before you get to 5d is that every human being as a part of the all that is is very fluid in their sexual identity and in their gender you are you are you are a part of all that is you can be anything you want you choose and you can choose at any time now in the rigidity of the 3d game you had to choose your choice was very limited but for those that are moving up to the fifth dimension you need to open up to all of them not to be attached I'm not talking about being attached to any of them I want you to open up to all of them and eventually understand that you have access to all of them and you always did and you always have you chose what to identify with whether or not it was before you before you got this came into this life or during this life whatever you still chose it and you can choose it now the difference is that I'm telling you you've got a lot more choices and I want you to be open to them everybody this isn't those videos weren't for gay people they weren't for LGBT plus that's not who those videos were for those were videos were more for heterosexual straight people for you to understand that you are fluid you always have been you made a choice and that choice was to be straight whatever but well even homosexual you made a choice if you're saying you're one thing always then you made a choice but that doesn't mean the other choices weren't there and available to you they always have been they always have been okay now you can choose to be born homosexual you can choose to be born heterosexual but that was a choice on the other side it was still a choice and now what this door is opening up to you is to help you get higher in your vibrations and open to the fact that you have access to so much more because you're right in 5d you're not attached to any of it you can wake up and decide to be a straight man today and tomorrow be a uh, 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 androgynous female 
I mean, you can be whatever you want to be at any time. You are learning and le relearning how to express yourself in God form. That's what the fifth dimension is about. It's the opposite of what you came down through. Lots of people came down through the fifth dimension and the fourth dimension to get to the third dimension. Not so many star seeds did this, but a lot of everybody else. And I've got a lot of humans watching me now. There's a lot of humans watching me. A lot of them have already done this. Don't know if they'll remember the fourth dimension or the fifth, but, well, they will eventually in the fifth. But uh, you're just going back the way you came. A lot of them came down this way. Lots and lots of them came down through this already. So you're just going the opposite direction. You came down through it so that you could forget that you were a god. Forget that you had access to all that stuff. Now you're going back up through it and remembering you have all of it. Not to be attached to any one thing, but to remember you're all of it. Okay? All right, hopefully that makes sense. Um, well, if it doesn't, ask me to clarify and I will do so. Again, thank you to everyone that supports me. Thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for your comments and your thumbs up. Much appreciated. Thank you for my PayPal people, my Patreon people, and those that get sessions with me. I appreciate you so, so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. By the way, guys, when I do get moved, I will be doing live YouTube. But as you know, I'm out in the boonies. And uh, we just, I keep trying, but <laughs> I still can't get it. It still cuts out too much. But when I can, we will do that. All right? Okay, guys. I love you so much. Huge hugs. And I'll see you later. Bye now.